Kristen, what did I do this last month? You went on a bike race with all your friends. I did. How did I do it? You bought a bunch of bikes and put motor gases on them. Where did I get the engines from? Craigslist. No. Try again. Oh. The you, bikes from Craigslist? And the... Motor from? You built it. Where did I buy the engines? China? I don't know. <laughs> I bought them on eBay. For how much? Oh, $80. 90. Very close. You're on a roll, babe. More questions. <laughs> Can I say something? Please. I love how your bike turned out. Really? It's probably the cutest bike I've ever seen. Mm. I love the vintage vibe. Really? Mm -hmm. So I bought these engines for $90 online because I wanted to see how far can you go, how reliable, and how fast are these dirt cheap $90 eBay China bike clone engines. So let's push the limits and see what happens. All right, get out of here, miss. Okay. Time to get serious. I'm gonna try to get through this part of the video as fast as I possibly can because I believe that the best part of this video is at the end where the bike race is. However, I think it is interesting to some of you guys to watch and see how I transformed this original bike that I got, which looked like this, into what the end product was, which was this. So we'll do that really quick, show you how I built eight of these bikes all for this weekend race with my friends, and then we'll jump into the race. Sounds good, here we go, here's the start. Today we are driving down to pick up bikes. I think we'll legitimately have about 10 people buy these gas bikes for this race. So me and Dan are the first people to go get our bikes. Oh, there she is. All right. Oh man. Heck yeah. Wow. Wow. What is it called, the Free Spirit or the yeah, Spirit? It's a, it's, a, it's a Free Spirit Sheffield. That bike is 40 years old. Daddy wasn't there. Dude. There she is. Here you What do you say? I like it. I like it a lot. I like the frame. Except for there's no brakes, huh? Why is that costing? We're going to put a motor on it. Oh. Ga a gas motor. So we decided to build Dane's bike first because I'd rather just mess up on his bike so that I knew what was going on later on after I built a few bikes to make mine very nice. Throttle assembly, which is the grips and kill switch. Who needs directions? We have removed the wheel. So it's just the gasket on the backside? No way. Pull up the video. You want to tighten oh. it down. That was definitely the most annoying part putting this on. You can definitely tell the progression of time. Uh, it is dark, we have set up lights. All you have to know is that we are literally taking this thing off for the third time because it's not fitting on. Oh my gosh, literally everything is fitting perfectly. Oh my goodness. We built Dane's bike in about eight hours. Now, it took a long time, but it was the first one. So we didn't really know what we were doing. By the end, we were able to get them down to about, I'd say four hours top to bottom. Here we come. Oh wait, it's smoking, dude. Right. Oh shoot. <laughs> dude, let's go. It was around two in the morning when we finished the bike, so we didn't ride it that much at night. We rode it one test lap, went to sleep, and then woke up the next day and rode it all around town, and it was a lot of fun. Try yeah. to go 30. Try to go 30? Yeah. Yeah, get down and you're, you might have to pedal. Put in third gear and pedal. Yeah. Oh, I can definitely do 30. Well, it's <laughs> probably 20, 20 like 4 right now. Yeah, it's gotta be adjusted. There's no way. Yeah, there's, there's something. There's something up. It's it's not actually opening up all the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually opening up all the way. All right, here's the situation. Aaron fell in love with it and was like, let me buy your bike engine kit and throw it on my bike. What can I say? So we grabbed the fixie and what can he say? We're gonna do it in two hours this time. Start the timer, it's five o'clock. All right, we got to the gas station. We are gonna give the inaugural run for both of the bikes at the same time. Let's see how it goes. Hey, your tires will skid sometimes, so be careful. The white one's faster, so Aaron's got a little bit more speed. <laughs> After Aaron took my bike engine kit, I bought another one, and then John was like, I want a bike. Here we are, bike number three, John's bike at the oh, fill-up. Yeah, baby. Bye-bye. Then John bought me his, I put that engine kit on mine, 
and then we got to work on mine. Finally, it was the fourth bike. This is the real makeover one. This is the picture bike, as we called it, the one that we wanted to make sure looked really, really good for the camera so that people will click on this video. Thanks for watching. By the way, if you are not subscribed, we're gonna do an ad break in the middle of this puppy. If you're not subscribed, make sure to just touch it, guys. Just touch that little subscribe button. It helps me out a tremendous amount. So if you could do that, like it. And also, if you have any questions, comments, any of that, go underneath. Love it, because I'll answer them all. Anyways, back to the video. All right, it's finally time for my bike. Got the new handlebars I got from a uh, bike shop for 10 bucks. All right, so we got the bike all sandered up. We're gonna get her painted. My plan for this bike is to make this looking like a clean like 1920s board track racer, but I think I've picked the wrong colors. Oh no. Do you hate it or love it? Oh no. Funk. It's green as shit. You can tell the wrong color is here, and now I've just done a good layer of correct color. See you later. Old green. Oh, daddy. I got the first wheel on, and OMG. I'm so glad I repainted this the right color. What do you think, babe? It looks like a military bike. Exactly. I like it. Oh my gosh. There she blows, and she's looking so hot. Gonna switch out for the new pedals soon. We have the gas tank temporarily mounted, but it should be a clean look and we'll have a circle tank right back here. Wow. Listen to that. It's so loud. But it rides a lot better. You can feel the power. Really? You know, this thing feels more powerful than even is. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, Cutter. Wow. Yo, see how Dude. the exhaust is worth it now? Yes. You just gotta have some freaking earmugs for that. Yeah, bro. It's that loud. Goes. It looks like a motorcycle though. Yes. Gotta ride it. All right, we got a speedometer. It's gonna make this thing look fresh. Number signs from an old road sign. And that's how she looks. Pretty sick. I'm very proud of Kristen because we were walking by and she said, wait, it's like yours. And I said, exactly. Oh, baby. Chris? Yeah. You look like Amelia Earhart. If you have a bike, and you have $90 in basic, basic tools. Anyone can put this bike together. It's just gonna take time. Bike number five, boys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> all the way out. It started. Hopefully we didn't break a spoke. The only guy who built his own bike. Is that right? You are the king, my like guy. This. Okay. Bike number seven. There's number eight. We got her going. It's sketch, huh? Is that one really sketch? Weird. We managed to finish all eight bikes the night before the race, and then it was race day. Oh my gosh. There she blows. That's our chariot. So basically we rented a U-Haul Ratchet strapped two futons onto the side of U-Haul for all of us guys to ride in the back, and then Ratchet strapped all of the bikes to the very front half of the uh, U-Haul truck. <laughs> where's, where's the, uh... Dude, I've got layers. Boy, thankfully, I just The fifth bike that we made was called the Rat Fink. It just never had a chance. The chain broke literally on the day of testing. It was not my fault, I can tell you that. So the day of the race, the Rat Fink was just out. So that's it for the Rat Fink. First one gone right out of the gate. So we only had seven runnable bikes out of our eight right from the start. This one's finked. We knew the Fink would never dink. <laughs> so this is the first, um, this is the first annual uh, Bike Till You Can't Anymore beer bike slash bro bike festival started here by Marcus. <laughs> yeah, boy. We're gonna start out with about 11 boys yeah, boy. and we're only gonna come back with about three. And the only three that are coming back will be on the podium. But the rest of them, well, they're f 
up we are about to do a 33 mile race to Wrightwood California rules are no rules we're gonna start out with about 11 boys and we're only gonna come back with about three but the rest of them well they're the mission. If you do not have to stop and you go all the way there without having to tinker, that is one award you can win. The second one is style points. Style points? Yeah, we'll award a style okay. point winner too. Downhill to this lady. Yeah. Are you toinks? dude. And just like that, we started the race. We cranked all of our bikes up. We tried to kind of get in a formation line and we went three, two, one. It's off to the races. Okay. Four of the bikes out of the gate were running great uphill, blasted off. We had Stevie's and Gabe's who were going a little bit slower, but they managed to do fine. And then, wait, what's that in the background? Toinked! Two of the bikes exploded in the first 400 feet of the freaking race. And sadly, the bikes that flopped were Leif's and John's. Out of the race, mechanical issues right out the freaking gate. So it just ain't happening for them. And I'm not able to fix everyone's bike. So I said, guys, just throw them in the back of the U-Haul. We got 33 miles to go. We can't stop every 400 feet to fix your bike. So that was that. We, uh, we hit the road. Gabe, though, was straggling pretty hard. I don't know if his bike was a bit toinked or if he just has a couple extra pounds on us, but he was going kind of slow, so he's done. His bike's out of the running. It, 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 it. Stevie's out. I'm just making the executive decision. That bike was finicky as heck. It never blew up, but it just never ran great. What's the um, update? The update is... His bike just randomly, I think his plug just fouled, so we scraped it down. We're gonna see if it's working again, which will make six out of our eight bikes working and functional. Right now, we got five bikes to go about five miles uphill. And we're pedaling pretty good, but um, I mean, the fact that they can get up these hills and we're at a elevation of, watch Car. yourself, 6,000 feet of elevation. Our one horsepower just went down to a half horsepower. So we chilled for a little bit and then brought out the other bikes to see if we can kind of fix them and get the other guys riding. So we looked at Leif's bike and we realized that he had poured in oil before mixing the gas and it just gummed up his carburetor. So we drained the carb and we ended up getting his bike to run pretty fine. It was honestly an amazing feeling having all of those bikes running for that while. Hitting that fresh mountain air, all cruising with the boys. And for a brief moment, those six bikes were running in harmony. However, it was a brief moment. We went down to do a drone lap, and only five of the six bikes came back. One straggler running behind. I'm not riding this anymore. Oh. You were like, dude, the brakes are a little pointy. And I was like, 
going down. Were you clamping it hard? No, I wasn't clamping yes, it hard. Clamped it hard. Did I saw him. He, he was like, Whoa, oh, no, no, I need to stop. Because he was going to try to turn around and went. <laughs> well, no, because but you already know. I was already going oh, halfway wait, there. Wait, you snapped the brand new caliper? Yes. He had slammed the brakes too hard and completely destroyed all of the spokes, and the bike was unrunnable. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> So this is it, the last 10 miles of the race. This is where we really pinned it down and actually saw what our bikes could do. And we were whomping, like dust was flying in our face. It was, it was pretty gnarly. really gassed it and pushed these guys to the limits uphill, downhill, hitting turns, and it was actually a lot of fun. It felt like a proper race at the very end. Oh my god! Wait, what's that? Zoom in? Oh. So, basically, Aaron was going around on a turn and ate dumpy, dirty shits. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, we already have it on camera, bro. Oh, is it bad? I have Aaron's story. Aaron fell, ate oh. dumpy shiz. <laughs> Dude, his bike, is he okay? Because it's kind of funny. Because you're saying dumpy shiz. I don't know. Aaron ate big shiz? Yeah. Is he okay? Is he have a broken like, arm? He's okay, but he's like, he hit the ground, bro, with his face. Because <laughs> <laughs> his front tire bought, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's funny. Not that he's hurt. Now, now I definitely win the, is my life going to last? <laughs> Me and him kept joking back and forth about how we're like tied for second place. No, I don't have any mechanical issues. <laughs> You're tired, bro. That's it. Bro. Yo, that didn't count. We went off terrain. I was, I was we went off terrain, you jig. I was thinking about it and I was like, ooh, yeah. This part, he might not do so good. Bro, did not really say. <laughs> 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 Yo, Aaron, let's see those battle scars, bro. Oh, uh, how's my face look? Dude, let's see, let's this see. Is, on the left side. That's where I landed. Oh, funk. <laughs> right there on ass, that cheekbone. Bro. Dude, you got style points. Bro. Oh. He might get the style dude, this, points. Show, show, look style look points, bro. Oh, my no. God, dude. It's ass, <laughs> bro. Dude. I look yeah, at yeah. like this. <laughs> they, I, hey, look, the only thing that happened, though, to be honest, I just, I think I popped my inner tube. And, but this is the tank is honestly still fine, but I'm probably gonna get a new one anyways. <laughs> All right, fam, we out of here. Right. Four died, four are still left. <laughs> but thankfully, Aaron wasn't seriously hurt. None of the guys got hurt, so we're glad we had an awesome day. And on top of all of that, I was crowned victorious. I mean, I made the video, guys. What do you expect? You think I didn't put myself in a position to win? I spent two weeks on my bike tuning it up, making it... And everyone agreed. My bike actually... Not only did my bike look great, but it actually... It was actually the most comfortable. And it wasn't the fastest, but it was up there. I'd say it's probably top three. We spent literally like four hours just cobbling these bikes together and expecting them to go 33 miles up hills, going up 2,000 feet of elevation. So... For all of that, I would say these bikes performed very good. And actually, it wasn't the bike engine kits that failed. A lot of the times, it was just these crappy bikes or just negligence or, or not tuning it up properly or the guys not knowing what the heck's going on. So I have to say, these eBay bike engines are very good for the price. And even though some things break and some of the screws strip and yada yada, it's 90 bucks. So you really can't get pissed at it. So overall, I'd say that it's a worthwhile buy. If you guys are interested in these gas bikes, if you want to build one, if you want to connect with me, if you guys want to go on a race with me, I'm thinking about doing a, an organized race from Los Angeles to San Francisco on these bikes. So if you guys are interested, hit me up, go to my Instagram, and I think that I'm going to do like a nice organized, kind of disorganized race of a band of a bunch of people who are going to go on like a weekend trip up there and try to do one of these races. My eventual goal is to organize a race from the West Coast 
to New York City. I want to go from LA to New York City like the Yard Boys documentary, but on these bikes. I think that's my eventual goal, but we'll first start with a small race from Los Angeles to San Francisco. So if any of you guys are interested in doing this race with all of us guys, hit me up. Hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on Instagram. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, so I'll, I'll be posting more details about it later. So once again, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm going to have another one for you next week. In the meantime, I'm going to New York City to do some viral stuff. So you'll be hearing about the musical uh, very shortly on what uh, good news is happening with that. So yeah, that wraps it up, and I'll see you next week.